Thanks for watching Digging Deep, where we're digging into a little bit of everything. Jack, Jack of, of all, all trades, trades, master, master of, none. of none. Yeah, dude. Everybody, thanks for tuning in here. We are out in the backyard trails today testing some different camera angles and equipment trying to figure out what works the best and can still bring in some halfway decent quality footage. This right here is the 4K 24 frames per second super view. No stabilization mounted to the gimbal. It seems to work okay, but the footage is very quick if you ask me. I don't know, it just seems to just come at you a little fast and it doesn't look quite as realistic to me. Although it does look cool, just not as realistic. So right here is the bottom of the face helmet mount. My favorite, but we ran this at 4K, Shift no stabilization, and day. pretty much it looked like you were on a Bottom roller coaster right. ride. And it would probably That's give you a headache if you watch this. I would have to say this is one of my favorite. This is mounted to the full face helmet underneath, and pretty much. You set it up in 2.7K at 30 frames per second on the That's Super no, view mode, hard. and then you have the stabilization that's set up in the GoPro Hero 5. And it is so lightweight out there, you barely know it's on there, and the view is pretty good if you ask me. And I love the gimbal, but this is just, you can have fun and not worry about a bunch of equipment, if you ask me, kind of feel. And I love the downward view when you're in the air and you can see over the bike. It just gives you a more full spectrum view of everything that's going around you. The gimbal is nice, don't get me wrong, but it just gives you the more aerial look and you can still see the bike. Oh, I I thought it was going to be. view. I knew I was going too slow when I looked up. It's very hard to top this. This has to be one of the best views I've gotten so far. If you just take a look, it all looks so natural. And you feel like you're there. So one of my major problems with running the gimbal is just it feels like you're carrying something on your chest. It feels a little heavy and it does flop around on you, but you just can't beat this footage, that's for sure. So it's all, you know, weighing your options and figuring out what works best for you. I think it kind of takes the fun out of it because you're worried about it. It's this big piece of equipment flopping around on your chest. So the helmet mount, it works fantastic and you barely know it's there. So that's my number one. Yeah, that was smooth too. A little overshot. 